Today what we're going to do is we're going to make the cute little hair bow that I was wearing in my leopard romper outfit of the day video and it just looks like this. And I also have a pink and zebra one that I made, but I am going to make the ro the leopard one that like I had in my romper video. What you're going to need to start out with is a 6 inch piece of ribbon. Um, I just cut the ribbon in 6 inches. You don't have to do 6 inches though. This one's like 5 and it turned into a little bit smaller. So it's just whatever you prefer in size. Um, this one's going to be 6 inches, and as you can see, the ribbon is kind of fraying on the end. So what you're going to need is a cigarette lighter just to burn off the frays, and be very careful doing this, because sometimes the ribbon does catch on fire. So just like that, and then we're going to just do it to this side, just so it won't fray anymore. And try to get it pretty even. Okay, so there's the ribbon. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fold the ribbon in half, just like that. And if you need to mark it with like a pencil or um, a pen, go ahead. But I just usually fold it in half, and you can kind of see the little crease right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take each side, and you're going to just fold them to the middle of the crease. So you're going to have a ribbon that looks like this after you get done with folding it, just like that. Okay, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to take a hot glue gun, and you're just going to put some glue right down the middle, and I don't know if my glue's heated yet. Yeah, it is. Just like that. And then you're going to go ahead and fold both sides over to the middle of the hot glue, and make sure that it gets glued down great, because if it doesn't, then it's going to come up in, when you make the ribbon. So just like that. And if there's spots that you need to touch up, go ahead and run the glue gun back over it and touch it, touch it up. So you're gonna, your ribbon's going to look like that after it's glued. Okay, on the same side as the seam, as you can see, the back doesn't have no seam because the front is where we put the two sides of the ribbon together. So on the same side, you're going to just put a dot of glue right here in the middle of the ribbon. And it's just going to be about a pea-sized amount of glue. And I'm running out of glue. Just like that. And then you're going to just take the ribbon and fold it down. Just like that. And then hold it together in the middle so the glue will stick. Okay, so this is what this side's going to look like. And then this is what the other side's going to look like. As you can tell, the ribbon's starting to form. And if there's any, like, little spots of glue, string or whatever, just pull them off because sometimes that happens with hot glue. Okay, then what you're going to do is on the front side of the ribbon where there's no seam, so this is the back, this is going to be the front, you're going to just take another dot of glue, and I usually do a smaller dot than I did in the middle of the ribbon, and you're just going to put it right here. So here's the front side of the ribbon that has no seam. You're just going to put it right here in the middle of the ribbon part at the top. And then there's going to be the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Just a little small dot. You don't want very much. And then you're going to just take the ribbon and fold it up. Just like that. And hold it down until the glue dries and then we're going to do the same with the back, the same side so this is the side that has no seam and you're going to just put a dot of glue on the other side of the no seam and I'm running out of glue should have got some glue sticks so just like that just a little dot and then you're going to just do the same you're going to pull it up let it dry. Okay, and it's going to look just like that. And then you can just kind of, you know, if you want your ribbon to look a certain way, just bend it until you get the desired look. This is going to be the back side. This is the front. It doesn't really matter, though, which side you use, because as you can tell, you can't see the seam anymore on the front or the back side. So, And then what you're going to do is you're going to take, as you can tell, I took a strip of pink, and I just glued around the middle part of the ribbon. And then on this one, I took a strip of leopard on the pink one. So it's just whatever color you desire. Um, this is going to be the pink ribbon. And we're just going to take a small strip and cut it with the scissors. So 
something about like this. You can do it bigger or larger, just whatever you want. I like the smaller size. And you're going to do the same. You're just going to burn it with the lighter so it doesn't fray. Just like that. And then you're just going to take a dot of glue. And what I usually do is I just put a dot of glue on one side. And again, my glue gun's running out of glue. So you're just going to take a dot of glue and put it on one side. And I usually just do the same with the other side. Okay? And then I just take the ribbon, and you can start it off wherever you want to start it. And then just wrap it all the way around the ribbon. And then what I usually do is if I need to, sometimes you don't need to, but if you need to cut off like some extra ribbon, if there's too much on there, you can cut it off. Okay? And as you can see, I have some like strands of glue, so you're just going to pull those off. Just like that. Okay, and that is going to be your finished bow. And I usually just take a bobby pin and I'd usually just put a strip of glue on the bobby pin and glue it on there. Or you can take um, like one of those clippy pins if you have one of those and glue it to the back or the front. Whatever side you want, it doesn't really matter because you can't see the seam anyways after you put the strip of glue around it or the ribbon around it. So, Or you can glue it on a headband or elastic tie or just whatever you want to do. But yeah, that's going to be my hair bow ribbon. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Thank you.